in the dream. You are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. <laughs> Nightfall. Good evening. We begin tonight with the first play by a young Montreal writer, John Graham. It stands by itself as a tribute to the eccentricities of the human heart. He calls it love and the lonely one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anatomy 4. <coughs> I realize this is the first time most of you will cut into a cadaver. But take it from me, you'll get used to it. I will remember my first such uh, model patient. I christened him Henry. Now, when you all become doctors a few years from now, you'll find some of your patients very temperamental. And not my Henry. The more I cut him, the wider he grinned. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that what we're committing a felony. What? George, if they find out we stole this thing, they'll kick us out of school so fast. Kick us out of med school? Come on, Freddy. Hang loose. It's only a stiff. They'll, uh, they'll blame it on the engineers. Uh, uh, you think? Oh, sure. Uh, oh, oh. Hey, be careful. We're almost there, Tiger. Oh, sorry. Quiet. Wake up the whole damn sorority. I can't walk backwards. We'll turn around. Oh, God. Look at her. Here, uh... Uh, let me take the feet. Oh. Oh, look at her mouth. Ugh. Reminds you what tomorrow morning is going to taste like. George, are you sure we want to do this? What the hell? The broad stood you out, didn't she? So what's the problem? We're dropping off a valentine. Valentine? The corpse of a dried up old lady? Oh, uh, but you're forgetting my pink ribbons. And look. Remember a card. A card? Yeah. You're the guy who reads poetry, aren't you? Yeah, I even looked it up. Here, read it. Dear Sally, the grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do their embrace. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this is sick. Sick? I'll tell you what sick is. It's listening to you moan every time anybody brings up that hose bag's name. You know Sally's not like that, really. Yeah, she's a real pain in the ass. How many times she stand you up this week? Well, uh, I don't know. Come on, Freddy, where's your pride? You want to sit around feeling sorry for yourself and you want to get even with her. Now, come on, Freddy, enjoy your revenge. Well, come on. Grab the arms. Uh, Let's get this stiff up these stairs before somebody comes. Uh, okay, uh, okay, that's it. One more step. Uh, 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 just over here against the door. Now prop the whole bag up so she just sort of drops uh, in when they open the door. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, great. Now let's get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, I can just see those sorority airheads <laughs> screaming their heads off. <laughs> okay, this is it now. When I hit that doorbell, we get out of here and fast. You ready, Freddy? Hey, Freddy, you with me? Huh? What'd you say? Are you ready? Oh, 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 yeah. Sake, they'll be here in a second. Let's 
Here. 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 Behind. Jeez, Freddy, you had me scared. Sorry. I, if they'd I... seen us. What were you we staring at? You're, you're in space or something. I don't know. I, I saw her. In the light. Her mouth was green. And she was... Smiling at me. Hey, George. I hear Dr. Rob really lit into you on the wards this morning. Yeah, so? He gets your ass in a sling every now and then. Sometimes I wonder why we're doing this. Huh? Neuroanatomy midterm in two weeks. <laughs> it's a bitch, all right. Anyhow, I'm going skiing if it kills me. And if you knew what was good for you, you'd come too. No way. I can't spare the time. Who can? Look, look out. Why? Cardiac arrest team. They'll get us next time. Bunch of cowboys. But they save lives. Don't count on it. See you back at the ranch, huh, partner? Yeah. See you later. You? Come here. Doctor? Get in here. Oh, I'm just on wards, uh, ma'am. I really don't think You've got two hands, haven't you? Grab those electrodes. Nurse the syringe. Just hold the electrodes on his chest. This got it? Right. Stand back. Hit the switch. He moved. The cut would move if you ran that charge through. How's the scan? Looks okay. like he's had it. Try it once more. Stand back. Hit the switch. Nothing. Well, that's it. Wrap it up. Just leave him here? Up to the order is now. You're... You're not going to try it again? Again. He had a hole in his heart you could drive a truck through. He was living on borrowed time. Look at him. What color is his face? He's uh, purple. Dark purple. Lack of oxygen. Even if we did get his heart going, the brain damage would be massive at this point. Excuse me. There's a four-year-old in emergency. Nurse, get me the fire, please. So fast. As though nothing happened. Phew. Uh, nurse? 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 Oh, well. Hello, to South. Hello, Fred. Who's this? A distant admirer. Who? What do you want? <laughs> sure took a lot of nerve to pull off a stunt like that. Last night? What's done? Oh, you wicked, wicked man. Uh, I don't know what you're talking but, about. But uh, I like wicked men. I scare a lot of men, but uh, I bet I wouldn't scare you, eh, sport? Uh, are you a friend of Sally's? Sally? <laughs> Why don't you uh, throw over that silly girl and find yourself a woman? What are you getting at? Well, would you like to... Talk it over? Is this some kind of joke? Oh, I certainly hope not. Well, maybe. I mean, sure. Okay. How about... Tonight, where you dropped off the valentine? Last night? Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, see you later. Oh, by the way, how did you know where to reach me? Oh, a friend told me. Who? What friend? The one right beside you. Until tonight. Right beside me, but th there's nobody beside me except... Except... The corpse.
fire sport. Step on in. <clears throat> uh, you bet. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you staying cool with Coolidge, or just trying to think up something nice to say? You, uh, you sure look great. What other way is there? Oh, something tells me we're going to get along swell. Like some champagne? Champagne? Sure thing. Uh, I, I really like your dress. Mm-hmm. Sort of like a flapper. Out of the twenties. <laughs> and the music. The nostalgia's really the thing these days, isn't it? <laughs> Bottoms up. Here's to better behavior. Uh, champagne. What are we celebrating? A happy prohibition. And a short one. <laughs> prohibition. Uh, by the way, where is everybody? Mm, all the little butterflies flew too close to the flame. What? What's that? The banks are on holidays, darling. Forever. And all their daddies have told them to come home and work for a living. No banks? Oh, the crash. Mm-hmm. And, and you're dressed to crash yourself. <laughs> Almost had you there. Hey, before I forget, how did you know where I was this afternoon? And what's your name, anyway? Leave a lady a little mystery, will you? You'll find out soon enough. Find out what? Oh, don't be so serious, sport. Come on, the lady wants to dance. I don't dance very well. Oh, the Charleston's easy. Watch. The Charleston? Are you kidding? No. Nope. Like this. Don't be shy. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how's this, huh? How am I doing? Well, you're doing great, Fred. Just great. <laughs> 23 to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kalamazoo or, or bust. <laughs> This is fun. It's the berries. Especially with the bubbly. More? Uh, I don't know. Oh, why not? Thanks. It's kind of strange here, you know? I mean, where is everybody? I mean, really. What's the matter, sport? Lonely? No, I... Mm. I uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Why so distant? Hello. Hi. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know you or anything. Well, what do you want to know? Anything. Where do you come from? Your hopes, your <laughs> dreams, anything. Hopes and dreams? These days? Yeah. Watch out, I might tell you the truth. I'm not afraid. What do you want? Oh, most of all, I want to distract handsome young men until they don't know whether they're coming or going. Mm. Oh, well, nobody ever... Ever what? Never mind. Maybe we should get a little more... Private? Mm, of course. <laughs> Silly man. Wait here. I'll go in and get ready. Hey, uh... Um, well, easy. Easy, I'll only be a minute. And then you'll get to see me as I really am. I mean, that's what you want, isn't it? Are you ready? I'm turning out the light. You can come in now. Oh. Here we are. Huh. Wait, you know... It's kind of funny. You just sort of know. Know what I mean? 
when you meet someone special, you kind of feel, well, right from the start. Right from the start. What's <laughs> Same old villain, I tell you. Yeah. The same corpse right in my arms. Christ, I can still smell the formaldehyde. Oh, did they give you? What's so funny? Hey, I told you those sorority girls had a sense of humor, didn't I? We stole a body. They stole a body. Everybody's in the bodies. <laughs> well, no one was in the house. Oh, sure thing, Tiger, sure. <laughs> it, was, it was like she came back to life. But younger, as a flapper, mm. I guess that that's when she was our age. Oh, wise up, Fred. Believe me, those airheads were in the next room laughing their guts out. Yeah, I guess so. But I didn't hear them. Anyway, thanks for the news, Tiger. About time to turn in for the night, eh? Yeah. Maybe if I could get some sleep. Well, <laughs> I sure can Oh, night. Night. Oh, hold it. What? Just make sure you're alone. Snow's gonna stop tonight. You sure you won't change your mind? It's gonna be fantasy city up there. No, I better stay here. Get some studying done. Oh, come on. It'll be the last good skiing weekend of the winter. Slopes and strokes for all. And you don't even have to ski. Well, uh, thanks anyway. Oh, better be going. There's Janie. See you in a couple of days. Yeah, see you later. Peace and quiet. Thank God. Oh. Hello? Hello, sport. Or should I call you Tiger? You left in quite a hurry last night. Who is it? Oh. It wasn't really that surprising, was it? Why don't we get together? Look, I, I don't know who you are, and I'm sorry, you but I... You know who I am, Fred. This has gone far enough. Don't be afraid, Fred. We belong together. You know we do. No! Oh, my God. My God. I'll, I'll take the phone off the hook. That's what. I'll just take it off the hook. I know who you are. Two o'clock. Feels like two days. Why can't I get some sleep? Oh, no. No. Fred, I couldn't wait any longer. It can't be. It can't be. It is. And you know, it's better when you wait. Go away. Please. I can't. You took me from my bed. You can't send me back now. 
When you wake the dead, we come to stay. Or at least I do. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. How can we know in the beginning? How can we? How can we? Don't be shy. I promise I'll be good for you. No more loneliness. No more fear. No loneliness. No fear. The door, Fred. The door? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi. You're... You're not wearing any clothes. Aren't you cold? Of course not. I've never felt so warm. Come on, Fred. Time to go. Where? To my bed. Uh, the grave's a fine and private place. But some, I think, do there embrace. short today, George. Two weeks to midterm exams and your partner doesn't think it's worthwhile attending anatomy lab. Mm, Fred's never missed one before, sir. I, I'm sure there's a good reason. Uh, I hope so, for his sake. All right, let's get going then. Get out the cadaver. Right, sir. <laughs> oh! <gasps> What's going on there? Out! Everybody out! Class dismissed! Please, somebody call the police! Close the freezer! Sir? I said close that door! What are you waiting for? They look... so... happy, sir. 